The large variety of nanomaterials provides a challenge for assuring their safe application. A case-by-case -case risk assessment of this large variation of different nanomaterials will require a lot of experimental animals as well as time, effort and money. Therefore, an efficient strategy to assess the impact of nanomaterials on the environment and human health is crucial for the optimal exploitation of the innovative and economical potential of these materials. Such a strategy should provide sufficient comfort for society and regulatory agencies regarding the safety of nanomaterials and the products they're incorporated in. At the same time, it should reduce the necessary amount of experimental animals, time and money. A new approach. Within the NanoReg project, a new nano-specific approach for prioritization and risk assessment of nanomaterials and their applications for human health is developed in the form of a flowchart. The main objectives of this approach are to prioritize those applications of nanomaterials that have the highest potential to cause human health effects, and to identify the crucial information needed to address the nanospecific issues within the risk assessment. The flowchart in use, the first phase. The first phase of the flowchart is screening and prioritization of nanomaterial applications with the highest risk potential. This results in an impression on the possibility of specific nanomaterials and their applications to cause adverse health effects. The materials that are flagged green or red will not enter phase two of this flowchart. Green will need to be evaluated according to the classical non-nanomaterial risk assessment approach, and red indicates the need for extensive targeted testing and safety assessment. The group of materials that are flagged orange will enter phase two. Risk managers can predominantly benefit from using the first phase of the approach to prioritize those nanomaterials and applications that need to be addressed most urgently. Product developers can use the first phase to get an initial impression of potential issues of a nanomaterial and its application during the different life cycle stages of a product. The flowchart in use, the second phase, and further phases. The second and further phases give direction to the most important information needed within the risk assessment depending on the specific application, life cycle stage, and exposure situation. The elements that are considered to be most relevant for the risks of nanomaterials are exposure, dissolution, transformation, accumulation, immunotoxicity, and genotoxicity. More info. Details on the various phases of the flowchart can be found in the project report and publication, which are publicly available at www.nanoreg.eu or at the Internet NanoReg Result Repository, hosted by the RIVM.